Hi, I'm Leah Goldstein. And I'm Lori Mulger, and we're co-owners of a company called No Finish Line Living. We offer retreats and seminars and keynote speeches, helping people live their best life possible. But today we're in Northern Michigan promoting my memoir called No Limits. It's pretty good for a girl. It is. Yeah. <laughs> but today we're taking a break from that and we're going to share some tips with you on how to stay safe on a road ride. When you're riding on the road, if the shoulder is wide enough, you could ride side by side with another person or if you're in a place where there's very little traffic. But in most cases, it's safest to ride single file. And if you are gonna ride single file, the safest way is to keep about a bike length away so you're not too close to the rider in front of you because drafting too close can cause a crash if that lead rider suddenly stops or do an abrupt move. And if you are riding too abreast and there is a car wanting to pass, the rider that's on the left side should say car back and tuck in behind the rider in the front. So it's good bike etiquette to indicate to the riders behind you if there's road hazards. So if there's glass or gravel or stones on the road, it's, it's good bike etiquette to put your hand out and indicate that it's there. Also, if you see something that may potentially cause a crash of somebody playing ball or something dangerous on the road, you also want to indicate to the riders behind you to slow down. And we all know the old bike hand signals turning left with your arms straight out pointing the direction you're going to go turning right with your hand pointed up towards the sky and bent elbow and if for some reason you need to stop you point your hand straight down with your elbow high then everyone behind you knows you're going to stop when coming to a sharp corner especially for a beginner it's important to slow down and when you're making your corner to keep your inside pedal up and your outside pedal down and try to keep pressure on that outside pedal. It keeps your wheels from sliding or slipping on any gravel or sand. Thanks for watching. If you want to find out more about us and our company, you can visit us at nofinishlineliving.com.